Hi, this is Prios and I'm a professional gambler. Today I will bring you a poker hand review. This hand was played between Viktor Malinowski and the Canadian Christopher Brrrr. Not sure how his real last name is. Please leave me a comment if you know. I will guide you through the exact thought process of Viktor, the drunken master Malinowski, the best poker player in the world, according to himself. And like I can offer also playing drunk, like I can drink on the stream, like I drink like a whole <laughs> bottle of wine and I can play feather heads up any stakes he wants. It's, it's actually a deal, like I'm not going to back off. So if he wants to accept, no problem, like we can do this stuff like this. Play anybody in the world heads up right now at any stakes they want. Anyone else, 100%. Mm -hmm. And Linus, like up to 40k now, I think I can play. Let's jump into the action. Today we are in a nosebleeds, no limit hold'em game with blinds of 500 and 1k and also an additional straddle of 2k. Viktor Malinowski, our hero, is in the big blind. We got a monster hand, not a monster hand in a traditional sense, but a monster hand for the best player in the world who always knows when to call or to raise or to let go of the hand. As already mentioned, we are in the big blind with a monster and we obviously look to get in a lot of money with it preflop already. We are more than happy to see a raise from the small blind from Christopher Brrr, who we are looking to completely destroy and own. Trying to go after our blind will be his death sentence. He could have transferred the money right away instead of trying to beat the master. We basically got the nuts in a situation like this, holding seven dues and it's even suited. So we obviously have to three bet here. This is what GTO advises. The straddle is less adventurous and respects the big blind of the best player in the world by folding his hand. Christopher Burr isn't convinced yet making it 56k to go. We are really happy to see this. We decide to slow play our monster this time. We don't want him to fold his crap like ace-10 off yet. We are looking to get his entire stack. So we just call. The flop is not exactly what we hoped for. It's a bit mediocre, but with a strong draw to a backdoor straight draw, to be more specific, to a backdoor gut shot, we can't, can't fold yet. We could also still have the best hand against hands like 4, 5, 6, 5 or 6, 4. The turn improves our hand a lot giving us a gut shot along with our 7 high. We are definitely not looking to fold here. With these monster draws, we don't mind to get some money in. That's why a bet of 33k seems more than adequate. Christopher Brewer still doesn't respect our game and our status as the best player in the world, which nobody can beat and continues to bleed money away by calling once again. On the river, our monster draw finally came in and we got to shove for value. Poor guy messing with the almighty Malinowski, but this will probably be a lesson to him to not get into the way of Victor, the drunken master, ever again. What the hell is that? What does it mean when there's a picture of a skull? Oh, good stuff! <laughs> The last one really hit the spot. This was my video giving you insight into the thought process of high stakes and no split regulars. I hope you will reward me with a like for sharing the secrets and strategies on how to beat the no splits. If you don't want to miss any of my future videos, feel free to also subscribe to my channel. If you got friends who also want to beat the nosebleeds, feel free to share this video with them. Thanks for watching. Bye.